We are about to go through 10 more of these three to a pack comic book packs from the 90s. These were sold in dollar stores and department stores. I ended up with 31 of them. If you missed the first video, it was kind of a bust, but I still think it's a good video because it was kind of funny. There's a part one. This is part two. And then I have 11 more for part three. Basically, these are three packs that haven't been opened. You can see the two on the outside, but we don't know what's in the middle. So it's kind of a treasure hunt. So let's see, starting with this first one here, we have Star Trek The Next Generation number 26. That was on the one side. Then we have Cable number five. That was on the other side. Now, what was in the middle? Rye, Chapter 7, Valiant, number 6. Now, this was the theme we saw in the previous video, was that there was a bunch of Valiant stuff in the middles of these packs, which is fine, okay? <laughs> I'm just, you know, Valiant just kind of reminds me of, in the 90s, they were kind of the cheap... I'm sure they have good stuff. I don't remember ever reading a Valiant comic, comic, but we'll see. This one has Punisher 91. That's a good, uh, good cover. I think I mentioned in a previous video that when I got my collection back, I have a whole short box of Punisher. We got Robin 2, Robin the second series, issue number one with the holographic cover uh, insert thing that's pretty cool and then the book that was in the middle come on not valiant all right dc hardware you can't beat the system number four okay so that's good at least it wasn't valiant keep going here like i said we got 10 of these today and i'll have 11 next time i'm probably going to do mail tomorrow we got a lot of mail coming in this is Marvel Comics Justice for Balance, number two. To be honest, I don't know what this is, but it's a Marvel. On the other side, we had Batman 498. I think I will end up with five copies of this book because I already have two bagged and boarded already in the Batman section of my collection. And I saw several of these in these three packs. And then in, in the middle, nice. The Brave and the Bold presents Green Arrow, The Butcher, and The Question. Brave and the Bold, number four, from 1992. That's a good one. Okay, so, so far, we've only had one Valiant book come out. That's pretty cool. Now, this one is a little more modern. I'm not sure where this came from. Because this is May 02. I might have bought this as an adult and just stuck it in a box somewhere. This is not quite the same as the other ones. This is from a little bit later. But it's the only one I have that's like this. So maybe there's something interesting in here. We got Nomad number 25 from Marvel. On the other side, we had Legends of the Dark Knight 153. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm hunting down a lot of Legends of the Dark Knights. And I don't have that one. I don't have a lot of the later ones at all. And up, we're back to Valiant. We got the Armorines number five. So there you go. Next, moving right along. On one side, we got Aquaman number 13. On the other side, we have Excalibur number 90. Excalibur 90. And in the middle, looks like an ad for an image comic on the back. So it's uh, Wildcat, Wildcat's Adventures number one from Image Comics. Not, that's not too bad. I won't, I won't complain about image titles. Uh, a couple more here. I think this is fun. And I finally finished bagging and boarding that huge box of comics I got off Facebook. Ran through a lot of my bags and boards. Tried to order more. They were out of the kind I like. 
So I had to order a different kind that's going to come in tomorrow for these. We got uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine in N Vector, issue three out of four. Wildstorm comics. Not a big Star Trek fan. Um, this is X Man number 50. X Man number 50. And then in the middle of this one, oh, it's another image. Supreme Madness. Supreme 16. Cool. All right. Next one has some cool books on the outside. So if nothing else, at least there's that. And I'll show you them right now. The Punisher, number 83, Firefight, part two of three. Again, I'm just throwing this in my Punisher box for now. I'm going to sort through that, see what series are in there. Marvel Comics Presents, Weapon X. Marvel Comics Presents, number 84. That is awesome, awesome cover art. And in the middle... Toxic Crusaders, number seven. That's cool. I'll take it. That's pretty neat. I love it. I love it. I love it. From USA Cartoon Express. How's that for nostalgia? I love it. Okay. Next one, again, has some pretty cool books on the outside. Maybe we'll hit a cool one on the inside again. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., number 27, guest starring Wolverine. I like it. Very cool. You got the ad for the Marvel cards on the back. Everybody had those on the playground. And then we got, oh, I didn't realize this was a double-sided book. We got Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine, number 117. But then it's, uh, bloop. you got Ghost Rider and Iron Fist on the other side. That's pretty cool. Excellent, excellent. Now we got an ad for Wolverine on the back of this one, so maybe it's a Marvel. Yes, Sleepwalker 17 and Spider-Man 2. <laughs> I like it. So, so far we're skewing towards more Marvel stuff in this round. This is much better than the stuff that I got last time. I don't want to spoil it, really. Go watch that, that part one of this series. It, it was pretty funny this the things that kept turning up over and over this is the new titans 107 that was on the outside let's see what was on the other side of this iron man 307 and now let's see what was in the middle oh no 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 <laughs> It's our old buddy, <laughs> Exo Manowar, number 15. So now I have four copies of this bad boy right here. Woo! I don't know. I should not be allowed to own such riches. Anyway, at least it, that's the only copy of Exo Manowar in general so far. So that kind of spoils that first video, if you connect the dots. All right, here's the last one for today. We got Azrael number five. Very cool cover, Raza Ghoul, Talia. I like it. That might be cool to read. Um, the other side was Ghost Rider, number 81 from 1997. Now, come on, what was in the middle? Big money, no whammies, let's... <laughs> Golly. Okay, well, two here. There's four in the other room. Man, I should have them all graded, right? They're, these look, ooh, no spine ticks, sharp edges. Definitely a 9.8 candidate, definitely. I'm going to send all of those out to CGC, and maybe I'll do a whatnot auction. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's all we're going to do today. Tune in. In the future, I have 11 more of these packs that we're going to go through and we'll have just as much fun, I'm sure. Thank you all 
the new subscribers, and I'll see you next time.